So guys, Jay from Thundercat Lofts. Uh, it's Saturday night. Uh, it's around 8 o'clock. Um, I wanted to do a video earlier today, but I didn't get a chance to. Um, uh, my girls did wound up not taking a, a nap at the same time, so I didn't have a chance to get out here. And my wife was working, but uh, I did run out here and feed them really quick. Everything was fine, everything was good. And I just came out here now, it's eight o'clock. And I don't know if you can see this bird here, right there. See the blood on him? So that cock, that is his nest box. I came in here just now, and he was in this nest bowl. And you can see what he did. He, he did a number on this baby in here. I don't even want to pull him out to show you guys because it looks pretty bad. Uh, part of me wants to just put the bird out of its misery. Another part of me thinks maybe he'll bounce back. Uh, he's not too badly pecked in the head. It's mostly just his back is pecked pretty bad. I don't know how long it's been going on. I didn't see it earlier. I don't think it was happening before. Uh, it's been a good five hours since I've come out here, so it may have just happened over the past hour. I'm not sure why it happened. I'm sure guys are gonna comment saying it's because of overcrowding, but I don't know. I feel like there's not that many birds in here. Everyone seems to be doing fine. There's the uh, father there. See what's going on. So, I mean, this bird might not make it tonight. He's here tomorrow or Monday. I mean, let him heal up and see what happens. But uh, this is definitely the part of uh, the sport that I don't enjoy. Uh, don't enjoy culling birds. I don't enjoy uh, killing birds if I have to. I always take them to the farm where I know they're going to be slaughtered, but uh, you know, I think maybe someone will come out and take them and race them. But uh, that's why uh, you know I'm not breeding so many this year because I don't want uh, you know you don't need to breed more than you need. <laughs> but anyway, it's kind of a downer. On a positive note. You can't really see because it's dark in here, but um, these guys down here, I was right, the bronze hen is on eggs, and her one baby is over here, just fine. So super excited about that. I'm glad to see someone is using a separate nest box already. Um, <coughs> that dark check was just in the nest box as well, in the nest bowl as well. Um, so I think uh, I think everyone's gonna be using the nest bowls a lot of them just took the hay the Timothy hay I put in here They just took it and moved it into the other one, which is fine. I'll just refill it tomorrow or the next day um, Over in this section I had seen uh, That hen there it looked like she was gonna lay an egg, I swear, but uh, not yet. Still waiting. There's her uh, mate, the pencil cock. Um, super excited to see what they breed me. And these two pairs here, super excited. Uh, but just a waiting game now. It looks like these uh, silver cocks are. I feel like uh, wherever, I, the guy I bought him from, I don't think he had lights on. So, um, you know, the hormones are, weren't really going. And now they've been in here with the lights on for about two or three weeks. So now they're starting to really get in the, uh, the mood to mate and the season for mating. Uh, so I think that's all it is. I think it's just... Uh, trying to get those hormones going um, I think it takes like three weeks and we're about there we're about three weeks um, so 
We'll see what happens. As for the dark checker hen, um, there's the cockbird that should be mated up with her. Eh, he hasn't really been cooing for her, so maybe he's not interested anymore. I don't know. You know, you only see what you see when you come out here. You don't see what goes on all day long, so. Um, can only make assumptions at this point. Anyway guys, uh, I will definitely keep this video short. So some bad news in the loft. Uh, luckily that you know this bird only had one uh, one baby in the nest. So it's just one baby I lost. It's one pair that's set back. And I'll probably only go one more round with them. I'm not gonna go crazy. I'm not gonna you know I mean if, if I if I can go three rounds with them, I'll go three rounds with them, but um you know, I'm pretty certain that this this baby in here isn't going to do so well. And I'm pretty certain that the parents are kind of shaken up at this point. I don't know why this cockbird, he keeps going back and forth. And this guy is just sitting here looking mean. Who knows, maybe he got trapped in there, couldn't get out. I mean, it's like... I have a red nest bowl in there, he has a white plastic nest front, and he went into one that has a wood nest front with a gray plastic bowl. I, I don't know if there's anything I could have done. He's not even in the same line, he's diagonal. <sighs> kind of strange, I mean, but this bird is a new bird this year. Um, they seemed to be doing well. Just one of those freak accidents, I guess. But uh, that's it guys, um, tomorrow I'll probably do a video while it's light out, before the Super Bowl, and um, I'll give you guys a quick glance at my racing loft, which is finally completed. I got all my, um, all my perches are up, and there's about uh, 60, like 100 perches now in my racing loft. I'm not going to breed 100 birds. People keep asking me how many birds I'm going to breed. I'm not going to breed 100. Uh, right now, <laughs> it seems like I just lost the baby, but right now I have about 12 babies. <clears throat> um, it looks like four just hatched. Uh, in here and in here, we have uh, some young ones that just hatched. Actually, let's take a look and see if anything hatched up here. <coughs> no. Still eggs that I believe are fertile. But, uh. <coughs> and I have my grizzles. My grizzles hatched. They're a few days old. They should be abandoned in a few days. So, 12 plus 6, 18. You know, 18 out of my first round. So, uh. You know, second round, the max I'm going to have is 28 over here. So, uh, that's 38, 40, 45, we'll say. So, 45 birds after two rounds. And then whatever I get from this side is just a bonus. Um, looks like I have currently three pairs. That'll give me at least a round or two. So... That's only another, you know, six, 12 birds. Um, which puts me at around 55, 60. So not that many birds, guys. I'm really not breeding that many. Uh, I have no problem breeding 75 birds if I can. Um, I'm expecting to lose birds when I, when I train them. Yeah, I'm expecting birds, um, you know, just to, uh, to do something stupid and get lost. I'm expecting to lose birds during the race season. You know, birds just drop off and don't show up. Happened to me last year. I am trying to train a lot harder, which means I might lose a lot more birds during training season, I'm not sure. Or it might mean I'm gonna lose a lot less birds this year during racing season. I'm not sure what's gonna happen. It's all kind of uh, wait and see and play it by ear. 
But uh, I am planning on breeding 60 to 70 birds. That's my plan. Um, and then once I breed these birds and I perform with these birds, I'm looking to cut back a little on some breeders. Um, and uh, I know it's hard to do. Everyone knows it's hard to do, but uh, <coughs> I think 20 pairs is enough. Right now I'm breeding at a 21 pairs. So for having birds that are not even really proven, and you know by my own racing uh ability um just birds that were given to me that are supposed to be good birds you know um i have too many already so i gotta cut back uh, ideally i would love to have just 10 pair 15 pair maybe but i'll probably always have 20 pair at least which puts me at about 80 birds after two rounds if all goes well uh Good news is, uh, I, my wife um, came out and looked at my racing loft, and she said that uh, um, when we move, which should be in a year or two, maybe three, um, it's got to be bigger. It's definitely got to be bigger uh, and prettier, in her own words, she said. It. Um, so. She's on board, uh, she's not uh, fighting me anymore. She's pretty much accepted that I, I do have a passion for racing pigeons. And hopefully this year I can prove to her that, uh, you know, it's not all downhill. It's not all lost money. Uh, hopefully I can recoup some of the money I spend. Uh, I'm not looking to get rich or, you know, win a crazy amount of races. I would just love to, win some cash uh, just to recoup some of my losses at this point. Um, you know, uh, there are a lot of guys uh, in this combine. I'm in the Central Jersey combine and they're all really good. Uh, if you go to the Central Jersey combine, I don't know if it's just something they say, but they say it's one of the largest combines in the country. I don't know if that that's, holds any water. I don't know if it's... Uh, if, if it's if that's true but um i will tell you that it does seem like there is some fierce competition in new jersey a lot of these guys live for pigeons and there's a lot of them there's a lot of guys um and they train hard everyone has good birds uh everyone wants to win you know um you know before i even got into the sport people told me that guys were uh pretty um how do i say this sore losers i guess you would say some guys are sore losers or uh you know talk a lot of crap about each other and uh i hope that's not the case uh for my experience you know i'm i'm a i'm a pretty good sport and um I'm a pretty humble guy. I don't expect, uh, you know, uh, much. I don't, uh, I don't criticize people. You know, you, you do whatever you want to do. Um, I have a buddy who lives down the street and, you know, he definitely doesn't take things too seriously. This is all about having fun, you know, spending a little bit of money to have some fun. Uh, I mean, he, he commit, he, no matter what, if you have pigeons, you're committed. You're making a commitment. So, um, I mean, he's made the commitment. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of time. It's a lot of money. But uh, he doesn't go crazy. He's not, uh, you know, necessarily as crazy as I am with um, pairing up birds, uh, counting how many birds you get out. I mean, he didn't even keep records of uh, the parents of his babies he just bred whatever he bred and put them in a crate and trained them and you know what he did better than me than last last year than i did so i mean there's no uh there's no right or wrong way um you know i think uh a lot of guys think uh there's um 
a right or wrong way to do things and uh, everyone does things their own way and they live and they learn so um, that's it guys as you can see all these birds in here seem to have all picked some nest boxes here finally um, they seem to have calmed down video tomorrow when it's light out I'll show you my racing loft show you what's going on and I'll give you an update on uh, on the damage see you guys on the next one